I, 28F, am uncomfortable with my boyfriend's, 34M, best female friend. My boyfriend has a female best friend from college who makes me uncomfortable. They have been friends for around 10 years and have been pretty close. Never dated. But he has admitted to me that he used to have a crush on her and in college would go to her apartment at night in the hopes of hooking up with her and it just never happened. This girl. Taylor. I's the kind of girl who flirts with guys for attention and plays dumb to seem cute. I have always felt weird about the way she interacts with my boyfriend. One example is that he invited a group of friends over to watch a football game once. It was pretty cold out and everyone was in hoodies, sweatshirts, etc. Taylor showed up in booty shorts and a tank top. Later in the evening, someone complimented her outfit and she said, thanks. I wore it for my boyfriend's name, which I thought was very odd. After months of trying to be friendly with this girl, I got fed up. She has never asked me a question about myself. Never made an effort to get to know me but is always following my boyfriend around. I tell my boyfriend this and how weird she is with me and how some of the things he's said about her make me uncomfortable. He was kind of defensive at first but seemed to understand and assured me it wasn't something I should worry about. Taylor went to Europe for a few months and recently returned. I don't follow her on social media so I didn't know she was back until she randomly showed up at my boyfriend's birthday party. When she showed up, I was talking to other people. And my boyfriend took that time to tell all of his friends and all of my friends that I hate her. And to keep her away from me. Which I did not appreciate as it made it much weirder for me and it felt like he was distancing she. And I saw I wasn't included. Maybe making it easier for him to hang out with her without anyone mentioning it to me going forward. I would have preferred that he do nothing and just let me handle it. Instead of telling everyone we know that I feel weird about her. His reaction made me so uncomfortable. I looked through his phone while he was sleeping. I found texts from them the week prior where he must have seen that she was back in town and he texted her saying, you're back? wanna grab lunch? And her response was that she was busy but then texted, I finished my stuff early if you still wanna grab lunch. Quote, he never replied, IDK if they got lunch. He didn't mention this to me. But while we were fighting a few weeks later about how he dealt with the situation, I asked if he knew she was back in town. And he said no. He had no idea she was even in the country. So he lied to me. I didn't tell him I knew they had talked before his birthday. I don't know what to do. I have an ex who acted the exact same way with a female friend, who he ended up cheating on me with. So this situation is very triggering for me. And my boyfriend took that time to tell all of his friends and all of my friends that I hate her. And to keep her away from me. I bet he was worried what you'd find out if you talked to her. Like that he lied about not knowing she was back. For starters, I have absolutely no issue with male, female friendships. But this one is clearly a problem and I would be done with the relationship tbh. Your guy has a crush on Taylor and she's the elusive woman he can't have. She enjoys having his attention and benefits from it but is not interested in him. Your boyfriend is keeping you around to satisfy his physical needs while she satisfies his ego and emotions. You're the third wheel in this dysfunctional relationship. The information here about your boyfriend suggests he sucks. And you don't need to reassure us that there are positive qualities. Everyone thinks that about their partner. But I strongly suggest you think seriously about if he's the one you want to commit to. That aside, he's being shady about her. You know it. If you want to be with someone that respects you, break up with him and find someone else. He likes the attention and values it over you. Since he knows it makes you uncomfortable. She sounds like a pick-me kinda girl and it's the worst to try to deal with because they'll play. Victim. 
I'd write him a letter detailing your discomfort within the relationship. If he doesn't take it seriously, I'd personally end it. You deserve someone who respects you and cares about your comfort. Just leave him. He's already admitted his old crush on her. She tries constantly to get his attention. This isn't worth heartache over. You're better off without it all. Walk away. If they ain't sleeping together he sure as hell trying to. Just be honest. Say, I don't think this is going to work you lied to my face. I know you knew she was back in town that why I asked you. You asked her to lunch. Then lied to my face. So for that reason and many others where you made me feel uncomfortable to situate her is the reason. We are over. I've been through this before and I ain't going through it again. I'd rather just walk away now before I get deeper into this mess. Your relationship with her is inappropriate. And the fact she acts like some jealous girlfriend around me tells me all I need to know. That either y'all are sleeping together or are well on your way too. I don't care to hear any reasoning from you. My trust and respect for you died when you lied to my face about not know she was back. I hope in your next relationship you establish some boundaries with her so it doesn't end the same. Good luck with that. Then just block him. He too old to be acting this stupid over a female friend. You're just the placeholder and once he's single again, she is going to have very little interest in flirting with him until he is dating someone else. Those type of women have really low self-esteem and are kind of pitiful. You'll be best off dumping him now. Nah she trying to steal yo man and he's allowing it. And the fact that he told everyone that you hate her. WTF? He has lied to you about her and he's disrespected you. Honey wake up and break up with him. They both ain't worth the heartbreak. All I can say is this. You don't deserve to be in a relationship where your concerns are brushed off. Where you are lied to. Where you are blatantly disrespected. You're young. I promise you will find someone who values and respects you the way you deserve if you choose to. Walk away from this man. He's too old not to understand boundaries. And to not want to respect them and you. Unless Taylor was a child prodigy she's not a girl, but rather a grown adult like your boyfriend. Both of them are too old to be acting like this. But they've apparently got this, orbiter, style relationship where she teases him and he takes the bait over and over again. He does need to just get over this because she's never going to give up the power she has over him. By actually sleeping with him. But you don't have to wait around as some third wheel just watching him humiliate himself like this. He's given you sufficient reason to be done with him. This problem will never go away. He likes the attention. Think about your future. I have an ex who acted the exact same way with a female friend, who he ended up cheating on me with. From the mouth of the late great genius, Einstein, insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. The problem is not Taylor but your boyfriend. Wish him the best. Your boyfriend sucks. You can sit there and blame Taylor but the real issue is who you are choosing to date. Is your boyfriend 15? His behavior would be a deal breaker for me. He lied when you asked a specific, reasonable question. Especially after his immature, toddler behavior at his party. His actions to you show no respect. But respect for her. Think about that. Even if you don't wish to listen to the overwhelming belief that he is picking her over you. Talk with a therapist about healthy relationship boundaries. Communication and respect. I don't believe they will promote you staying when your partner doesn't reciprocate honesty and pick you. Don't self-doubt. You see all his and her actions and words. Just leave. You can be the most reasonable person about this. And this girl will still 10,000% play victim. 
Just leave and cut everyone out of your life. Having friends of the opposite sex is not a problem. However, when you add sexual attraction and lying to the situation, it's not going to end well. I bet Taylor doesn't even return his texts when he's single. She only shows up in booty shorts to your boyfriend's party to ignore you and parade around him and his thirsty, attached, guy friends. As soon as anyone is actually single, she could care less. The attention of single men isn't as gratifying nor is there any thrill in playing at taking someone who belongs to nobody. You break up. She ghosts him. You date him. She shows up dressed like a cheerleader for his football game. You marry him. She'll kiss him and let him feel her up on a lunch date. He'll never sleep with her. Much less get her to like him. Love is out of the question. She just wants to be sure he likes her more than you and she could have him if she wanted him. Some people are just like that. Men and women. They're best avoided if you want a relationship to grow. Sit down and talk with him. Woman to man. This is an old story with a predictable finish. He said nothing ever happened but still acts like this and admitted to following her home several times in hopes of sleeping with her. So far. He's been insensitive and frankly dumb or playing at being dumb. Then he lied about texting her for lunch. That's a betrayal. And continuing to play dumb isn't playing dumb. It's treating you like you're dumb just like going around telling all his friends to keep her away from you because you don't get along with her as if you'll never be the wiser. Questions to ask. 1. Why did he lie about the lunch? 2. How is he going to repair trust? You're free to establish that if he can't be trustworthy with his relationship with her then he can't be trusted with his relationship with you. End it with her or end it with you. If he gives you the, I don't let my GF decide who I can be friends with, just hit him with, friends. Don't follow each other back to their dorms to try to FCK them. TL. DR. Give him a totally reasonable ultimatum to cut contact with his failed FCK buddy. If he wants her so bad, she can have him. Break up so they can be together. I wonder why they have waited 10 years. Maybe some malicious game they play where they bring people in just to do this. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.